Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. Today, we're going to be covering N64. Now, we have covered a couple different N64 emulators or cores on the channel, but this one has been updated recently and it's absolutely amazing. This is known as Parallel RDP. Yes, Parallel has been around for a little while. They actually removed it for a bit of time in the RetroArch Core section. And a lot of the great features that came out of Parallel were merged with Moopin64 Plus Neck. And that's been my go-to core to use with N64 for a while now. But Parallel RDP has been rewritten from scratch recently, and it works amazingly. One of the claim to fames for this is it's using the Vulkan graphics API instead of OpenGL. Now, I don't want to downplay how good Moopin64 Plus Next has become in the last year or so, but this is looking to be an amazing core to use with your N64 games. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set it up with RetroArch and LaunchBox, and I'm also going to leave a link to this blog from the Libretro team. They have a lot of great information here about this new core. I mean, it's pretty long, and there's a lot of great stuff in here to go ahead and give a read through but they've also got some benchmarks with different settings. I've actually been using this core for the past few weeks and I really can't get over how good it is in the accuracy department and speed department. All right, so first things first, you're obviously gonna need to have RetroArch set up with LaunchBox. If you don't already have that set up, I have a full tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and launch RetroArch from the folder I have it installed in, which is inside of my LaunchBox folder, Emulators, RetroArch. Now you can always start it up through LaunchBox, just find a game that's already using RetroArch, right click on the game, and you can open RetroArch from here. I'm just gonna open up from the installation folder, scroll down here, and we're gonna start it up. So first things first, I'm gonna head over to Online Updater, and I'm gonna go to Update Core Info Files. It should automatically do it, but I've run into an issue where it hasn't in the past. Now that that's updated, we're gonna go to Core Updater, and from here, we're gonna find the new parallel core. So we'll find Nintendo N64, and we're gonna download the new core. Mine's already the latest version. It's installed, ready to go. I can exit RetroArch. Now we need to make sure we're gonna be using that core when we start up our N64 games from LaunchBox or BigBox. We're gonna head up to the menu, Tools, Manage Emulators. From here, we're gonna find RetroArch, click Edit, Associated Platforms, and we need to find N64. Nintendo 64, from the core drop-down menu, make sure you have parallel underscore N64 underscore libretro chosen. I'm gonna use this as my default emulator and click OK. And real quick, I need to go ahead and import my N64 games. Again, from the drop-down menu, we're gonna head over to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Now, I already have my ROM files located in my LaunchBox directory, so I'm going to add a folder, and I'm going to find it from my LaunchBox Games folder, N64. Now it's going to scan this folder and import all of the games I have inside of here. Choose OK, and Next. Platform for imported games. Obviously, we're using N64 here. Next. Choose an emulator. Since we set the default core as parallel, it should automatically choose RetroArch, but if it doesn't, you can use the drop down. Next, I'm going to use the files in their current location because they're already in my LaunchBox games directory. Yes, I want to download metadata and I want to get as much artwork as I can. So I'll choose next here. I don't need to specify any custom options for this core. So we have the name of the game, the location of the game, and the extension. I use .n64, but .z64 will also work. Choose Finish. Now LaunchBox is gonna go ahead and download our metadata and artwork for those games. All right, so all of my N64 games were imported. Over on the left-hand menu here, we'll see Nintendo 64. There's a little more setup we need to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and start a game. We'll go with Beetle Adventure Racing. It's going to give us our nice start screen, and then it's going to start up RetroArch for us. So we do need to mess around with a few settings inside of RetroArch. If you're on an Xbox controller, you can press your menu button or your Xbox button. It'll bring us back to the quick menu. From the quick menu, we want to scroll down until we see options. We're going to enter this menu. And from here, our GFX plugin needs to be set to parallel. And our RSP plugin needs to be set to parallel. 
There are some extra settings inside of here that you can mess around with. Go ahead and read through the blog post that's linked in the description. There's a lot of great information in there and you might wanna mess around with a few of these settings just to see how it performs on your system. We're gonna back up. Now there's one more option that I usually change and it's not mentioned on the RetroArch website, but we're using the Vulkan plugin. So we wanna set our video back in as Vulkan. So we're gonna back up, go to drivers and make sure video is using Vulkan. Back to the quick menu. We now have to restart the core in order for the changes to take effect. But next time we start up an N64 game from LaunchBox, everything's already gonna be set up for us. So this is the only time we need to do it. We're gonna choose restart. And now we have the parallel core properly set up. I'm gonna go ahead and skip into some gameplay and I'm gonna test two games here. So this is Beetle Adventure Racing, and even on my higher end system, using Moopin 64 Plus next, when we get to the Cityscape section, or I hit Nitrous, I do get some slowdowns. But with this core set up properly, we're getting a constant 60 FPS, and performance here is amazing. And finally, we have Gauntlet Legends, and with the older version of Parallel, this game wouldn't even run, so they have implemented some game fixes for certain games that just wouldn't work with the older core. I know I mentioned I would only test two games, but here's one more, GoldenEye 007. And even on the main menu, where I've had a lot of trouble in the past, even on higher end machines, we're getting 60 FPS. I'm gonna go ahead and skip into a little bit of gameplay. And as you can see, this new updated core is handling GoldenEye 007 at 60 FPS. No issues at all, and it feels just like the original. Go ahead and open up my pause menu, exit the game and that's pretty much it for this video we really appreciate you watching this new update is amazing for n64 performance and accuracy using retroarch you need to at least test it out and if you don't like it you can always go back to the other core you were using or a standalone emulator it's really up to you but i guarantee that most people are going to love the performance of this new core if you guys have any questions let us know in the comments below and definitely check out that blog post by Libretro. There's lots of great information in there. But like always, thanks for watching.